Gaffer, it feels rather strange, doesn't it, to be looking at the league table knowing that we're, we're virtually safe, but coming away from a 2-1 defeat at Wimbledon today. Yeah, I mean, you know, virtually means there's still a chance, so uh, I'm not going to take anything for granted. Um, we need to perform like we've been performing prior to this game, because today we weren't good enough, really. You know, the conditions weren't great. And I thought second half, going in at 1-0 down second half, I was quite pleased with because there was a, an immense pressure with that wind and the way they go forward and the two big men up front. And I thought we'd get something. We did. We got plenty. Um, but we didn't make our chances count. And then the one shot on target they had second half, we let in. And, and that's, uh, that's a bit of a weak goal to give them, you know, because uh, we wanted to do it on our own terms. We can still do it on our own terms, and that's next weekend. So I want a reaction next weekend. I want us to to perform against Fleetwood, beat Fleetwood. Um, things have gone for us today, but like I said, this is football. Uh, we've been on the end of Turkey away six years ago when we must have been 99.9 percent down. People are saying we're 99.9% up. I know what happened at Turkey, so there's not going to be any chances taken at all. Um, we are going to give it everything we've got next week and finish on our terms. The boys have done fantastically well, but you'll be where you deserve to be after 46 games and we're going to play 45. And looking at Wimbledon today, you know they've been such a strong side under Wally Dames, haven't they? A top half form since he came in as manager, uh, and, and tough to break down in those last 10 minutes when we were trying to fish for the equaliser. Got some good players, here, you know they've signed some big players. Um, big place, you know. I think the uh, the the tough thing was Neil Hardley going because he was a club legend and he's done well. But I think they they uh, they've got Wally in and he's he's got them on the crest of a wave. They're really believing they can stay. In. And sometimes when you're down there and you're looking up and you're fighting and strapping, you throw a bit of caution to the wind. They did that first half and he paid dividends for them. I'm not taking anything away from Wimbledon. They deserve that win today. Um, and it's a big step for them staying up as well. It's a great club. It's all I used to play for. You know, this is the proper Wimbledon, and uh, and uh, you know it's uh, double-edged sword. Really, I want to win the game, of course. But if we have to lose it, it's one of my ex-clubs. So be it. Um, we've just got to beat Fleetwood next week. Um, that's what I want to do. I want to finish on a high. I want to finish in the middle of that table. You know, the 45 games. I'm sure everyone would have taken this position now. I certainly would. Um, but nothing's certain yet, and uh, we've got to make sure it is next week. Yeah, 800 fans with us today. There were some back at Adams Park as well, 163, I think, watching on the beanback, uh, hoping that there'll be some sort of party tonight. Uh, champagne's just nice, isn't it, for those fans? Yeah, awesome. You know, it was uh, it was just brilliant being in front of them there. You know, they were singing the whole game. They just didn't stop singing. Even when Wimbledon scored their second goal, the fans didn't break stride. They just kept singing along like nothing had happened. And, I, and that's support. That's support, believing that their team will go and do something, pushing them all the way. And believe me, some of them players need pushing at the moment. They're, they're playing through some some pretty you know, sore injuries and, and, and they're digging deep. Um, but the fans dig deep as well and they pay to come and dig deep. Massive respect. Thank you for your support. Last away game of the season. Thanks all season. We've been on some great journeys, some fantastic journeys. We walked through the front door at Sunderland and we walked right out that front door with one point. I want us to do that again. I want us to have those trips again. Ipswich and Bolton are coming down. You know, it looks like we, we could have some nice trips next year again. Nothing's certain yet, but thank you so much for your support away from home. Let's finish it off at home next week with a real good, a real good occasion. The boys are up for it. I'm up for it. And after 46 games, I want to be a League One side.